Yeah, I mean, I think that it's uh, definitely the biggest fight of my career. I definitely think that going into this fight, I knew this was the biggest fight of my career. I think I can finally shut those people up that say, yeah, Grant's good, but he hasn't fought anybody with a heartbeat yet, which is absolutely untrue because I've fought multiple undefeated dudes, uh, multiple guys that were very highly rated. But uh, Demir has the respect of everybody in the MMA community, so this one should have been a big one. We heard the, the names you mentioned after. Has anything happened? Have you heard from them yet? I believe Benil, Tony Ferguson were guys you floated out, but those are the type of guys you want next. Yeah, um, I've, I've heard that it's Jalen, the winner of Jalen Turner versus Dan Hooker. Uh, the UFC has not said that, but multiple people that are close to me that are close with the UFC have said that that's lo- what it's looking like. Obviously, we'll have to see how things go on Saturday, but that is what I'm expecting next. How, how do you feel about those potential opponents? Obviously, Hooker's been in there with the best of the best, and Jalen Turner, there's a lot of hype behind him. Yeah, I think that uh, they're pretty much the same guy. I think that Jalen Turner is just a little bit more technical, a little bit more athletic, and a little bit younger. So I do think that he will get the fight. Uh, he will win the fight and then end up fighting me. Um, I would rather fight Dan Hooker just because he's a bigger, a bit of a bigger name. But uh, I'm, I'm down for whatever it is that they want to throw at me. How, how does a fight look with you and Jalen? He's, you don't see many people that long in the division. Yeah, he's definitely a really hard guy to prepare for. He's definitely a really uh, difficult body type to find training wise, but I've got so many training partners at American top team. I'm sure I can find a lengthy Southpaw striker uh, to walk forward and try to knock me out. You know, uh, I, I definitely think it's a really good matchup. Um, all of them are tough. He's, he's very tough, very, very tough. Everybody's tough in this sport, though. Everybody's good in this sport. Everybody's got that X factor uh, at this level. So I, I'm ready for the challenge. You mentioned American Top Team, and we were briefly just talking about Jorge Masvidal. What, what's it like being in the gym with those guys, with some of the best, you know, that we've ever seen? Man, it's incredible. Uh, one, dude, if everything from the facility to the training partners to the coaches. One, one thing in my old gym. Whenever I would do really good against guys in my old gym, I always had it in the back of my head. You know, these guys are good. I know they're good, but they're not at the level that I want to be at. Um, now, when I have good days at American Top Team, there's no there's no excuse there because these guys are the top, you know, 15 to top seven to, to Dustin being number two, I believe, in the world. So when I do really well against these guys, there's no excuse. I am on that level. I am that good. And I think it's just building my confidence every single day training in a gym like this. You're now number 10 in arguably the best division in the sport. You're really close. Is there is there a time frame that you want to see yourself fighting for the gold? Do you even think that far ahead? Yeah, man. Uh, it's it's always been about fighting for the gold for me. Like, I, I have this saying, and I'm going to stick by it, and that's uh, world champion for one night or everything that I've done up to this point will have been a waste of my time. Uh, I got into this to be the best. I didn't get into this to be – you know, really, really good. I got into it to be the best. So that's my my game plan. That's my goal. I do think I have one, two, maybe three more fights before I'm knocking on the door of Islam Makashev. But believe you me, I will be knocking. I was going to ask you that. Would you want him to still be holding the title when it's your turn? Or does you can't really control that? And man, it doesn't make any difference to me. If I beat Islam Makashev, they'll just say that Khabib would have smashed me. If Islam retires and I beat you know, Charles Oliveira for the for the title. They'll just say that Char, uh, that uh, Islam would have smashed me. So I, I really don't care. Um, you got to remember the golden rule. He who has the gold rules. So that's the goal. Get the gold and rule. Last thing for you. If people don't know who you are, they do now. What's your message to the rest of the, to the fans, the lightweight division, everybody in general? Man, this kid is good. That is my message. I have dedicated my entire life to this sport. I found MMA when I was 15 years old, and from that day forward, I have not wanted to be anything other than a world champion in MMA. Uh, Dedicated my life, dedicated my family, dedicated everything to this sport. I am coming for that belt, and I hope that you guys can realize now that I am a top contender.